Welcome back to the 2013 Texas High School All-Star Soccer Games presented by Town Square Media. We are live from Wildcat Stadium in Temple for the boys as they get ready under the hot summer sun to play one last time in the state of Texas. And welcome upstairs, everybody. I'm Michael Silvers alongside David Feliciano and our entire crew. Delighted to have you with us as the temperatures near 100 degrees down on the field here in Temple. It's the boys' turn. The girls' game went to the north. What's the outcome going to be here today with the boys? Well, if it's anything like the girls' game, it should be fun. Uh, big plays in the girls' game. I mean, again, these are the elite players in the state. These guys are going to be playing in college. This is who we're going to see in college. Expect to see some big plays. The 5A championship this season went to the Capel Cowboys while Waco University took home the 4A title. Those representation and that, those representatives are on opposite sides of the ball today. That's right. One player each from those schools are here. But again, this is statewide. We're seeing players from the Valley, Southeast Texas, Houston. Obviously, the Metroplex is, is the big the big city uh, pretty much represented here. The aggressiveness and physicality really wasn't around for the girls game. Might we see the same or could we see a little more aggression out there with the boys? I think we'll see a little more aggression. I think it'll take them 15, 20 minutes to get into things, but uh, I don't see any slide tackles, but uh, a little bit more of a physical game for the boys. Can the South even it up or will the North sweep? We'll find out momentarily when we return the opening kickoff. The North versus the South and the boys here at the Texas High School All-Star Soccer Games from Temple on FoxSportsSouthwest.com.
here at Wildcat Stadium in Temple in advance of the boys game here at the 2013 Texas High School All-Star Soccer Games presented by Town Square Media. The boys North squad, the coaches are Austin Guest of Midlothian, Fred Kaiser from Frisco Liberty, McKinney High's Alan Pocock, and Bruce Reichman of El Paso Del Valle. And Del Valle lost in the state championship 1-0 to Waco University. The starting lineup in a 3-5-2 formation for the North up front are Tony Bravo and Christian Okeke, Jalen Jones, Vince Koch, Gerardo Perez and Drake Lovelady at midfield and in the back, Matt West, Dylan Farrell and Seth Elliott. Starting goalkeeper from Arlington, Sam Houston is Oscar Rodriguez. On the other side for the South team, the coaches are Vincenzo Cox from Aleif Elsick, Pflugerville Connolly's Ryan Ford, Brenham's Eric Lane and Reyes Prado from Brownsville, Hannah. They lost to Capel in the state championship game. The 3-4-3 formation for the South. Carlos Acevedo, Jonathan Palma, and Hayden Lane are the Fords. At midfield, Grant Mobley, Anakin Williams, Michael Aiken-Loten, and Ben Diaz. And in the back, Diego Hernandez, Angel De La Garza, Andrew Hayes, Jose Cabrera from Palestine is the starting goalkeeper. The officials for today's game, as you see at center, that's the referee, Ruan Trejo, Arturo Ibarra, and Ciro Fuentes will control the sidelines. We talked about at the top about what we saw in the girls game in terms of the physical nature of the game and the aggressiveness, it really wasn't there, but the boys, it could be different and perhaps we'll see a little more finesse also from the boys. Yeah, a lot of it, a uh, little bit above the belt as we talked about in the girls game, a little bit more hand fighting up there. The ball's gonna be in the air on the, on the field turf and uh, I just think the natural aggressiveness, it's gonna be out there and a little bit more prevalent in this game. Again, an exhibition game, we don't expect to see a lot of sly tackling and guys taking other guys down. Just as in the girls match, the North will be wearing sky blue, the South in purple. The North team are already out on the pitch. They're ready to go as the South make their appearance. North from left to right, South from right to left. And the South will control the opening kickoff. Hayden Lane from Brenham will be joined up top by Jonathan Palma from Doby in the greater Pasadena area. 90 ish out there, 93, 94 degrees. Breeze was going across the pitch. Now it's coming straight at us, so it's kind of more of a crosswind. But it is significant, 15 to 20 miles an hour or so in gusts. Whistle to be blown by Juan Trejo. Goalkeepers Rodriguez for the North, Cabrera for the South. And this All-Star game is underway. Palma plays it forward. A run from Hayden Lane of Brenham. Certainly tell there's a faster pace at the beginning. Here's Diego Hernandez. Played his high school ball at Alamo Heights. Long ball is going to be headed back to the keeper off the head of Matt West from McKinney. What's fun about these games is you get to see somebody stand out like uh, Hervey in the first game for the girls. I mean, she two big goals in the first 23 minutes. Who's going to be the star here? Capel won their third state championship in Class 5A this past season. They had previously won titles in 2004 and 2006. Drake Lovelady in the starting lineup for the North team, a member of that squad this past season. They needed a shootout to beat Hebron in the Region 1 quarterfinals, and they scored a combined 15 goals in their postseason run while allowing just a stingy four goals in seven playoff matches. This is Ben Diaz from Waco. Now to the right back. Andrew Hayes from Friendswood down in Region 3. Good ball movement, but a takeaway by the South and here comes Michael Ankeloten from Westside in Houston. Left wing for Jonathan Palma. Collides running over Matt West. South control at midfield. Hernandez. 
Played back to the keeper by Angel De La Garza from Brownsville, Hannah, who won the Region 4 championship, defeated Elsick 1-0 in the state semifinals, but were the victims of Capel in an overtime 3-2 result in the state championship match. It was their first appearance at the state tournament since 1990 and their first ever state championship game appearance. Yeah, the Powers and Boys Soccer extends all the way down to the Valley to West Texas. It's a little wider than the girls' powers. I mean, El Paso represented, Brownsville represented. Kept alive at the far side, and a ball played with the intention of going to Christian Okeke. His team, Wichita Falls Ryder, lost to El Paso Del Valle in the Region 1 Championship, four goals to two, despite Okeke scoring within the first 30 seconds of the match. Wow. How that tidbit of information given to me by Del Valle head coach Bruce Reichman, one of the members of the coaching staff for the North team. That can carry you an entire game. It could indeed. Good challenge by Akin Loten. He tries to win the ball from Eduardo Barron from Longview. Matt West will try to track it down, but it looks like it'll be Palma who gets there first and on the dribble left wing. Gets by West. And his centering pass was deflected, but Whistle will halt play due to a handball committed by West as he fell to the pitch. Tough break for the South. Palma had a, a run going on there, but the handball took place about 10 yards behind him, kind of nullifying that play, so they still get a free kick out of it. We taken by Michael Williams from Aleph Elsick. Region three champions for the first time in school history, but we're one and done at the state tournament. We mentioned the loss to Brownsville. Hannah, one nil. He gets it. Plays it just outside the penalty area. Good feed down deep. But offsides is called on Ben Diaz. That was a set play. Give it off toward the center of the field and get it, get it off to a man on the left side. Kind of a triangle kind of play, and it almost worked out, unfortunately, offsides. Free kick by the keeper, Oscar Rodriguez. Is volleyed out of bounds. North will have a throw in. Waco University completed a wire-to-wire -wire perfect 33-0 season in 2013, culminating in a 1-0 4A state championship win over Del Valle. Scored a total of 25 goals in the playoffs, conceded just four. Mike Solis, not in the starting lineup, but will see some time today, is the representation of the Trojans on the South roster. South will have a goal kick. Just like the first game, boys south, well, one of the teams has only one goaltender. Cabrera's going to go to the distance today for the south. What if they'll go 20-20, uh, and 20, the north, like the girls' game? Waco University extends into Region 3 as a 4A squad. Defeated Lee out of Houston in the Region 3 championship game in a shootout. Needed a shootout to eliminate Mesquite Poteet in the state semifinals and had five shutouts in their run, which again was completed with a state championship game in a 33-0 season. Nice takeaway from Jonathan Palma. Leads it ahead. Hayden Lane into the penalty area. His shot is low, scooped up by Rodriguez. Good job by the North getting back. Lane coming in, was looking for help, couldn't find anybody. Just had to put a kind of a weak shot on goal. Didn't work out for him. Jalen Jones finds Okeke. Okeke looking to get it back. Handball. Does get it back. Dribbles into the penalty area. Okeke off the left foot. Centers. And chipping it out of the danger area where the south. They will concede a throw in as the north threatened deep in the south penalty area. A lot more opportunities in this game than the girls game. I mean, uh, both teams really good chances. Grant Mobley on the defensive end, as you'll see right here on this replay. He beat his man without a problem, and then if he could collect himself, but nice recovery by the south. Lane played for the Brenham Cubs, a 4A squad. Here's the long ball. Opportunity here for the south and a save. Rodriguez denies Acevedo. A kick save. Coin a hockey term. Yeah, and, and, a, and a great one at that. Breakaway in soccer is almost impossible to defend. Beautiful. Yeah. And now a chance at the other end by the north. Save made by Cabrera. 
Oh, this is a this is an all-star game. Things are picking up quickly here. South will get a throw in off that. There's Play the, here in the seventh minute. Forgive me, Mike. There's at least three opportunities by each squad in the first seven minutes. Ack and Loden. Finds Michael Williams. Long ball to the right wing. Beautiful. Palma given a run. Lifted sky high by Oscar Rodriguez. Headed back towards his goal. Here's Jalen Jones with a chip. Flicked on by Okeke, but in the control of Michael Williams. Andrew Hayes. Hayes a member of the Friendswood team that were eliminated from the Region 3 playoffs in the semifinals by Waco University 4-0 the result. Just another one on the list of teams that came and went and were dealt aside by the Trojans en route to their perfect finish. And they were a newer school. That's, we're seeing a lot of that, like uh, Denton on the girls' side. Especially at the state level. Yeah, that was the new university's schools. first ever state tournament appearance. So they get good pretty quick, these new schools. Rodriguez comes off his line and at the edge of the 18, scoops up the long ball. Volley by Tony Bravo of Sulphur Springs. But the South in control once again with Diego Hernandez. Then he turns it over. Here's Drake Lovelady from the state champions, Capel. His shot is in. Yeah, what a play by Lovelady. That's all, that's just footwork right there. In the ninth minute of the match, Drake Lovelady through the legs of Angel De La Garza has scored to give the North a 1-0 lead. Yeah, this is just straight up footwork. Didn't have, he had a man on his right, decided to take it himself, and had a he didn't have a great look, but he got it through the wickets. Now he's a state titleist. He knows how to win. South get it back in play as they trail early 1-0. De La Garza up to Akin Loten. Acevedo in control. Williams. Acevedo. Akin Loten, excuse me, that's Williams. Foul committed by the South. A little bit more of an, a wide open game, the, the boys than the girls. Girls is a little tighter passing, not a lot of huge runs. Uh, quite different in the boys game. It just, it's a little bit more end to end. Bravo. Good move to get by Akin Loten. Lays it off to the left. Cross is deflected out of play. Corner kick coming up for the north. We mentioned the goal scorer, Drake Lovelady of Capel. Their state championship was their third and six appearances. They had an epic double overtime game in 2005 against Kingwood, which were won by Kingwood, which ended their bid to go back to back. It's not hard to have a dynasty in high school soccer. Here's the corner kick. That one went over the goal. I don't know if it ever actually came into the pitch of play. So a goal kick for the South, that'll be taken by De La Garza. We've seen a lot of dynasties lately. Plano, West on the mm. girls' side. Kingwood had a great run. Kingwood girls, Klein boys. Yep. Under Alan Baker, now former Capel coach, John Lahan. Williams. Finds Ben Diaz. Lays it to the right for Andrew Hayes. Header by West. Taken away from Deer Park by Deer Park's Grant Mosley, who fires, and that one deflected. May have been off the head of McKinney Boyd's Dylan Farrell. South will get their first opportunity at a corner kick. Farrell and the Boyd Broncos reached the Region 2 championship, lost to Kingwood 2-1 in a shootout. There were 15 shootouts 
in total during the Class 5A playoffs in 2013. That shows you the, the parity. There's a, the teams are so evenly matched. I mean, we're getting one nothing, 2 nothing, that kind of stuff. Corner kick headed out of the danger area by Farrell. Williams for the south. Works by Okiki. Back come the north. Moving from left to right on your screen. Bravo on the run. Lays it off. Finds Okiki. He tries to tee one up. And that deflection off of Williams and out for a north throw. I really like Williams, the way he plays. I mean, he, he plays back on defense. He doesn't just get rid of it quickly. He likes to take it down, try to make a play. Love Lady, the goal scorer in the ninth minute. Puts it back in play off the throw in. Gerardo Perez from Del Valle. Region one champions. Made it to the re made it to the state final. Lost to Waco University. Epic game that resulted in a university win 1-0. Good footwork by Jonathan Palma. Palma along the left wing into the attacking third. Palma with a chance. His shot blocked in front. Maybe took a little too much time before unleashing the shot. He fooled Matt West, didn't he? Uh, Palma and West are having a battle, absolute battle. And it's about the third or fourth time Palma's come down on him and West has fallen over. I mean, it's, it's getting physical out there. Williams finds Mobley. Inside the 18, out of the reach of Acevedo. A Kindleton lobs a shot high and wide and off the tent. That is behind the north goal. What you'll see in the boys game also is a lot more defensemen, uh, fullbacks taking long shots at the goal. You don't see that too much at the girls level. These guys have bigger legs and uh, they can get one off from good 40 yards. North Plain. And employing a 3-5-2 formation, it has paid dividends with an early ninth minute goal by Drake Lovelady. Hernandez turns it over. Williams wins it back. Here's Grant Mobley. Okay. Through ball for Acevedo. Off his line, Rodriguez. And North scoring 3-5-2. Heavy in the midfield. Counter-attacking kind of style, south 3-4-3, three, three, a little bit more up front. Try to push the pressure offensively. Bravo. Needs help. Williams on him. Played back to Gerardo Perez. Here's Jalen Jones from Nelson High School. Up in the Metroplex. Every time I look at the map, there's a new community in Dallas. Room to grow. Yeah. City's going to be 100, yard, 100 miles wide before we know it. Mobley keeps it in the, on the line. Acevedo. Long shot is low and wide, but kept alive along the touchline by Rodriguez. Carlos Acevedo played for Brownsville. Hannah. Jones. Long ball into open space. So Keiki. Tacking third along the right wing with a cross into the box, and it is headed off the top of the head and not on target. That was a heck of a cross from Keiki. I mean that that had had speed, had the had the right height. And actually two guys had a chance to head that in. A great, great look. Beg your pardon, that was Eduardo Barron. And this is way out. Just a little bit high on the head. Wholesale changes for the South squad who trail 1 0. Ninth minute goal by Drake Lovelady. So the starters win about 16 minutes for the South. Back change out about five, six guys. Braden Hawkins from Canyon is out there now, along with Mike Solis. We talked about him. He's Waco University's. Representation, team that went 33-0. Yoel Oliveras from Cedar Creek is out there. Michael Olivares from Georgetown, not too far from here. A 
Olivares to Diego Conches from Medina Valley. Andrew Hayes up the right wing. Running after it, Miguel Rios of Crosby. Rios wins it, then loses it. Concede the goal kick. South's getting some runs up the side, left and right, but they can't put anything together in the middle. North, on the other hand, a little bit more play in the middle. Here and comes eight fresh legs yeah, this for is the North. This is a bus station worth of subs right here. Micah Clark, Renee Juarez, Chris Berrios, Roll Call, Matthew Rose, Angel Hernandez, Hunter Owens, Luis Garcia. I think I got them all. Well, the girls game, they were subbing one or two or three at a time, and they're taking the whole bench in this game. Rodriguez. You got enough? Will play the entire first half in goal for the North. He'll be relieved of his duties by Casey Kalari of Rockwall in the second half. Yeah, they got their 10th man on there, plus the goal. Ball's trapped. Here's Michael Williams. A run up the left wing. Still Williams. Hassled by Chris Berrios of Atascacita. Chris Berrios looks like a rugby player, doesn't he? He's a stocky soccer player, big time. Commits a foul, so a free kick for the South. Uh, he's, he's a guy you don't want to come down on and see in front of you. Oliveris and Williams, which one will take it? Wind against them as it's blowing towards the press box. It is Williams, bends one in, and it's headed out. Williams gets it back along the left wing from Braden Hawkins from Canyon. Here's Oliveris, Yoel Oliveris. Michael Oliveris. Rios. Finds Ojeda. Charles Ojeda from Mesquite Poteet. Losers to Waco University in the state semifinals after winning 1-0 for the Region 2 championship over Kilgore in a 1-0 affair. Love Lady, the goal scorer for the North. Taken away from him by Mike Solis. Defender didn't want to get fooled twice by Love Lady. He knows his moves now. Williams to Solis. Lays it to the center circle for Michael Oliveris. Mobley does a good job keeping it in play, but he turns it over. Michael Williams as we're in the 20, 20th minute of the match. 1-0 North, live from Temple, Texas, Wildcat Stadium. Live on FoxSportsSouthwest.com. This is the 2013 Texas High School All-Star Soccer Games. Presented by Town Square Media, Michael Silvers, David Feliciano with you. Our entire crew from Central Texas, glad you've spent your afternoon with us. Diego Conscious. Plays the ball in the attacking third. Their first, Matthew Rose from Granbury. Out into touch for a goal kick. You know, about halfway through, uh, a little bit more in the substitution. Uh, they went deeper into the bench a little earlier. And again, as we said, a wide open game. A lot of play on the wings. And the big goal by Lovelady. Hayden Lane will re-enter the lineup. Takes the place of Michael Williams. Header brought down by Lane. Hernandez. Left midfield. Up ahead, nice. One touch in on goal. This is Lovelady, or excuse me, excuse, and it's in. That wasn't Lovelady, but that was Luis Garcia. And Luis Garcia has given the North a 2-0 lead as the Lufkin Panther has scored here in the 21st minute. It was a nice touch pass to him. It was a little tough to pin down, but Garcia just poked it over the goalie's head. 
A very difficult play by Garcia. Beautiful flick. The timing had to be perfect, and he did it. Uh, he might have gotten a little help on the on the side from a Hawkins who may have accidentally knocked it in. I think Hawkins couldn't get it out of there. 2-0. 23rd minute of the match here in Temple. Michael Oliveris in the center circle. Got by Chris Berrios. Long ball to the edge of the penalty area. Kicked in to the penalty area by the North. But it's claimed by Rodriguez who throws to Lovelady on this side. Through the legs of Ojeda, played out of play for a throw in by Braden Hawkins. South defense has to tighten up. Uh, North is, a lot, a lot of their opportunities have been breakaways in a way. Official timeout. I think he's going to have a discussion. It might, might be some blood. Well, if there is blood, that player needs to come off yeah. immediately to get treatment. Yeah, he's on his arm. Looks like he'll be replaced by Diego Hernandez of Alamo Heights. Throw-in will be taken by Micah Clark from Arlington Lamar. Well, you're right, Mike. They did draw first blood. <laughs> Headed out for another throw. Garcia couldn't keep control. North win it back. Angel Hernandez. Back to Lovelady. Back to Hernandez. Hernandez looking to flick it on for, Car for Charles Ojeda. Ball comes out to around the 15-yard line of the football field here at Temple Wildcat Stadium, and a foul committed. So a free kick in a relatively dangerous area for the North. Barrios drew the foul. Yeah, let's see what kind of wall the South puts up. Maybe three, three man or four. But they're they're worried about the left side as well. They got a few defenders out that way. But the big man's going to take it. From Atascacita, the suburb of Houston. Hit the wall. Yeah, they went the direct route. Throw in, though, for the north. Rene Juarez. Yeah, Barrios. Bryan High School. He's we a load. Through, we went through Brian to get here. Yeah. Throws it into the penalty area. Battle for it. Barrios comes away with it. Good tackle. Back come the south, right to left with Hayden Lane. And he turns it over as he was looking to find Gerardo Gayton of Laredo Martin. Berrios bends it forward. It comes back to Lovelady. In the penalty area, and it is cleared out by Hernandez. Into the 25th minute of the match, 2-0 North. Yoel Oliveris. Right wing, tracked down by Rene Juarez. Juarez wins the ball. Runs down the left wing. Tries to forward it ahead, intercepted by Solis. Left for Andrew Hayes from Friendswood. Michael Oliveris with the long ball out of the reach of Miguel Rios out of Crosby. Yeah, the south attack's just fizzling. Uh, they can get it down, a couple of rushes, but really nothing of any measure. Play back to the keeper from Palestine, Jose Cabrera. North is the stronger team today, and, and it's pretty obvious. Uh, just much better on offense. South in the middle third, long ball. Foot race, and getting to it first will be Micah Clark. At least shield. Gerardo Gayton from the ball as it was collected by Oscar Rodriguez. 
South throwing. I think G Gaten and, uh, and Palm are going to have long days if they're going to have to chase that all day. Uh, those balls down the left side, no help. Looks like Angel De La Garza wants to re-enter, and he will. I think they wrapped up his arm. Andrew Hayes from Friendswood will check out. And the throw in will be taken by Braden Hawkins. 2 0 north on goals by Lovelady and Garcia. Barrios lays it back for Renee Juarez. Juarez trying to ford it ahead for Luis Garza, the second goal scorer. Ball rolled all the way through to Cabrera, who's conceded a pair. Hernandez in front, shielding Hunter Owens from Alito off the ball. By the corner flag now. Feeds Diego Conscious, who spins it to Solis and then gets it back. Opportunity now for the South. They have numbers on the dribble. Oliveris, a shot saved by Hernandez. Check that. That's Rodriguez. Oscar Rodriguez with the save. Finally, South getting something here. A little bit far out on the shot, but might as well try to create something, try to get a rebound. They did, in fact, get a rebound, but knocked away by the North. Let's take another look. Oliveris. And while we were watching that replay, another corner kick given up by the North. So a South with a chance. Remember in the girls game, the North went out to a 2-0 lead before the South were able to cut the lead in half, but that's all they could muster. There's a big play here. South's got to try to come up with something. Here's the corner as it bends. Good opportunity for a header by Miguel Rios, but it sailed over his head. Over on the far side, it is Gaten. Gaten with the cross, easily dealt with by Oscar Rodriguez. Trying to counterattack North. Got a little space here. With Barrios from Atascacita. Garcia back to Berrios. Berrios into the penalty area. He has to slide down as the ball was played off his foot with a little too much muscle. That was a great counterattack. Everybody back for the south. Berrios running free. Lane to Michael Oliveris. Back to Lane. Tried to get it back to Oliveris. Taken away by Drake Lovelady. Play was offside, so a little chip into the penalty area. Running out to collar that one, Cabrera. 29th minute of the match, and a 2-0 lead for the North All-Stars. In the center circle, Angel Hernandez played left. Good tackle, winning the ball conscious. North reclaim it, though. Garcia. Garcia is fouled by Diego Hernandez. Another dangerous area for a free kick. About the same spot as the last free kick, just on the opposite side. About five yards outside the, the goal box. And let's see if Par, uh, Paros will take it again. Might be Garcia number five. Nope, Garcia number five is down deep. Or Berrios, I should say. Yeah, about a three-man wall. Free kick. Oh, off the crossbar of the football goal. Ah, great look. Got it over the wall and just above the crossbar. It's about a perfect free kick as far as I'm concerned. More changes from the South standpoint. As Carlos Acevedo re-enters alongside Ben Diaz, Grant Mobley. Akin Lowton returns. A lot of the starters coming Palma. back in here. Yep. They came out at about the 24 minute mark, so good long rest.
Akin Lowton with a header towards the center of the pitch. Mobley turned it over. Barrios, number three in sky blue. He's taking the last couple of free kicks. Well, Barrios is the biggest guy out there, and he keeps getting knocked over. I mean, he you don't see a guy built like him very often as a, as a soccer player. I mean, he's a fullback, for Christ's sake. Having a little chat with our referee, Juan Trejo. Free kick, though. Is, he can explain his side of the argument, but he's not going to win an argument. Well, Barrios, he, he's, he's been knocked over about three or four times. The lob into the penalty area off the foot of Akin Lowton, headed out for a throw in in the attacking third. 32nd minute of the match and a 2 0 North lead on goals by Drake Lovelady and Luis Garcia. South really needs to get one for the half. Here's Mobley with the throw in. And a header just wide by Akin Woo! We were talking in the first game how these throw ins are just as good as a free kick. There's a great example. I mean, he got it halfway across and Akin Lowden soaring in, you best you could say it. Great attempt. Left wing Jonathan Palma out for a throw in. Anakin Williams still waiting his return. He hasn't returned since coming off. Number 14. Still in the fluorescent yellow. Sitting on the bench. He was a member of the starting lineup. He just didn't return on the, return on the uh, pitch. So Mobley to throw it in again. Had a great one last time. He's going to go low this time. Acevedo couldn't keep control for the south. And the north moving from left to right. They turn it over. Akin Lowton. Couldn't get a firm handle on it. Now it's Drake Lovelady. Watch his footwork. Oh, decided to pass it. And a good look. Man running free. Good run here on a good pass from Garcia. At the edge of the 18. It'll be lifted clear. Out of play for a north throw in. Coming from the far side of the pitch. And a 2-0 edge. Now Christian Okeke from Wichita Falls Ryder. Ready to come back out. Not WF Ryder, Mike? No, not WF Ryder. And it's Berrios. Berrios, yeah. He needs a break. He's had a rough first half. We mentioned Okeke's goal within the first 30 seconds of the Region 1 championship match. El Paso Del Valle would go on to win four goals to two. But he had the game's first marker inside that first minute. There's Okeke. Good idea, but better defense by the South employed there. Should have taken it himself. He had some space. South trailing two goals to nil. Here's Akin Lowton. Boards it ahead, and it is kicked out. Micah Clark spending good time in his area of the pitch. Concedes a throw in. Let's see if Mobley is down there again. Yeah, Mobley, this is his spot right here. Let's see if he goes lower all the way, all the way to the center of the field. Michael Oliveris will return. What will be the final five minutes plus left here in the first half. Palma. Shot. Looked like it was going wide for Acevedo, but got caught up in traffic in the penalty area. And the South are able to win it back with Angel De La Garza. Getting it at his center back's position. Spins it to Hawkins. South had some pretty good possession. Turnover as Lovelady stepped in front of that one. And they're holding on to the ball. They just can't put it together yet. Mobley along the left wing. Able to work it past Micah Clark. Micah Clark regains his position. 
Shot comes in near post, uh, right along the line, collected by Oscar Rodriguez. Yeah, they're looking better, much, much better. Nice throw from Rodriguez. Up ahead for Garcia. In the attacking third, cutting off his run was Angel De La Garza. The North will get a deep throw in. 36th minute, about to turn over into the 37th minute. And a foul. Committed by the North. Michael Akinloten. Hawkins. Back to Akin Loten. De La Garza. Foul. It's a good call. Or offsides. May have been called by the linesman, though. He raised his flag. Referee Juan Trejo recognized it. Blew his whistle, giving the North a free kick. Played ahead by Matthew Rose. Up the left wing. Long shot is low. Cabrera deals with it with ease. Shot coming from Hunter Owens. Mentioned he's from Alito. North should try to steal one these last three minutes. They can get up 3 0 going into the half. That's, that's devastating. Back in the middle third for the North to claim possession. Garcia. Offside flag is up. Ooh, that's close. I, I, he might have been even, but just enough. So I suppose tied in go to the striker. No, sir. Not in this instance, at least. South with a throw in. Hayden Lane looks to be the one who will do the honors. This game is a little bit, it's officiated a little tighter than the girls game. Of course, more physical as well, but probably double the amount of whistles in the girls game. Andrew Hayes re-enters. Good ball movement by the south, just out of the reach though of Mobley and it rolls to Rodriguez. He'll take his time, he's, he's not in a hurry here, up to nothing. Let everybody get back and kill about 30 seconds. On the foot of Okeke, tries to find Garcia, swiped away by Andrew Hayes. Michael Oliveris had to go through trying to get to Mobley, but Lovelady stepped in front of him. Love Lady in the ninth, Garcia in the 21st. Okeke, good tackle by Ekin Loten. Wins the ball to Michael Oliveris. Throw in to the south. Into the 40th minute. At the 2013 Texas High School All-Star Soccer Games presented by Town Square Media from Temple, Texas. Wildcat Stadium on a hot summer day. Luckily, the breeze is held up, so uh, offering us a little respite. Throwing is headed up by Micah Clark. 50-50 ball. Clark jostling. I don't know if they called that out. That's a live ball. That line's been decided to call it out. I think that was in play by about a foot. And it will be a throw in taken by Clark. Played his high school ball for Arlington Lamar. Volley by Akinloten off the throw-in. 50-50 ball is won by Ojeda. Okeke, Mobley steps in front of him, claims it for the south, leads it ahead for Diaz, shuttles it forward for Lane. Tries to find a deep run. Acevedo is not allowed any more progress as the ball not only goes out of bounds, but the horn sounds and the whistle is blown by Juan Trejo to bring us to the conclusion of the first half. Drake Lovelady of Capel scores in the ninth minute. Luis Garcia from Lufkin scores in the 21st. And after 40, 2-0 North. Back with halftime in just a moment.
Halftime here at Wildcat Stadium in Temple. The North All-Stars with a 2-0 lead. Joined by Burdon Wooten of Town Square Media. Here's part of our halftime festivities on FoxSportsSouthwest.com. First of three years here at Wildcat Stadium. Are you pleased so far with the turnout here in year number one? Well, I'm very pleased with the way the entire event has gone down. You know, all the players and coaches came in on Thursday. And they've had a great time as far as we've taken them on some city tours. And we took them to Fort Hood. All of that has run really well. Uh, the Hilton Garden Inn has been a great host hotel, and I'm tickled to death with the games today. So, yeah, we're very happy. We would always like more people, but. Sure, sure. Hot summer day may prevent a lot from coming out, but that's why we're here. That's right. No, it's great to have you guys here. The webcast, I've not seen a lot of it, but what I've seen looks very good. And, you know, we've got our own broadcast going on locally. Sure. So, you know, I, I'm so far so good. Now, of course, today is the payoff. The games are played. Right. But it's a long process to get everything it, here it, it is um, this process actually started as memory serves me in August of 2011 when uh, I approached the Temple uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau about you know I, I began to do some research and I noticed that there was no I couldn't find where there was a state soccer all-star game similar to what you have with football and basketball and have had for many years mm -hmm. in the state of Texas so I went to the Temple Convention and Business Bureau and I talked to them about the idea. I said, I think there's an opportunity here and they agreed. And so we began that whole process and that took us through to April of 2012 when we made a presentation to the Texas Association of Soccer Coaches and they said, hey, this is a great idea, let's pursue it. I think a great idea is the fact that it's centrally located in Central Texas. Not everybody has to drive so far just to get here. Uh, you're, you're spot on. A temple is, is very strategically located three hours from Houston, two hours from San Antonio, two hours from Dallas. You're exactly right. It's a, really, it's a very easy drive for a lot of the players that have come in. Talk about how many people are involved, not only from your standpoint, but just maybe volunteers with vending, concessions, everybody putting right. together a solid effort to make sure this goes off without a hitch. It, it, I have to tell you, for a first time event, it is it has gone remarkably smooth. And again, I attribute that to all the folks that you just mentioned. I mean, again, the Hilton's been Hilton Garden Inn has been a great host hotel. Uh, we've got a live events manager, uh, Caroline Gologli, who has done a marvelous job. I asked her to come up with me, but she seemed a little nervous, so she said, "Why don't you handle it?" But she's done a great job. The volunteers have done a great job. We have several of our staff members that have participated. It's just, I got to tell you, it, it has run very smoothly for a first your event and I would assume correct me if I'm wrong but the players jumped at the opportunity once invitations went out to come here uh, you know what uh, in speaking with Tasco they really did uh, we we tried to avoid you know you, you always have a lot of uh, players that that play select soccer and so there were some conflicts that we tried to manage around uh, we hope to do a better job of that in the future but no part of the attraction to this particular event is that it wasn't just coming in for a single game and then going back home the same day you know again the players came in on Thursday we had tours of some local businesses right. on Thursday then Friday morning they went to Fort Hood uh, it's so yeah, I think the food's been really good for them, and, and so there's been, some, there's been an entertainment aspect of this that I think the kids find very appealing. Any ideas when you try to do this next season of some things that you may do differently, something you may add in, what, what would those be? Well, um, I think there'll be some, some very serious conversation about uh, involving some, uh, a lot more coaches. Uh, you know, you're familiar with the Texas High School All-Star Football Game, sure. which is centered around the, the Texas High School Coaches Association Convention. Right. So I have a feeling what's going to happen next year is you'll see a lot more coaches that will come in. There'll be some more clinics. There'll be some skills competition. And there'll probably be some fairly uh, highly rated coaches that will come in to do that. Wouldn't be surprised to see the games move.
move to the evening. Yeah. Uh, really, we've been, you mentioned this earlier, we've been very fortunate so far because even though it's hot, we got a nice 20 mile an hour breeze blowing right, right. now. So it's kept everything kind of reasonable. Uh, but if there were no breeze today, it'd be pretty brutal out there right now. You know, all things considered, I think the subsequent years two and three have a lot to live up to because we're proud to be here and it's been well, a great event from our perspective. Well, it's great to have you guys here. It's exciting to think about the fact that that on Fox Sports Southwest, you know, this game is being webcast and that gives it a national and an international uh, scope that uh, really to think about that for the first year is pretty, I mean, that's, it's very exciting. We've had a lot of fun and Burdon, we really appreciate you having us and continue well, success not only today, but in subsequent years to come. Michael, thank you very much. Burdon Wooten of Town Square Media, when we return, second half action, two nothing to the north here on FoxSportsSouthwest.com.
Getting ready to start the second half of play from Wildcat Stadium in Temple. A 2-0 lead for the North All-Stars on goals by Drake Lovelady and Luis Garcia. Michael Silvers and David Feliciano back up in the broadcast position as we await the appearance of the South All-Stars coming out of the locker room. And just like in the girls' game, a 2-0 lead for the North, but yet we haven't seen anything on the scoreboard from a South standpoint. And at this time, a game ago, it was 2-1. And that's how it would remain through the next 40 minutes. I, uh, I want to say I think we're, we're in store for some more goals. I, I think so. Uh, the South got close a couple of times. If you remember the uh, Akin Loden soaring in header off the throw-in, uh, that was probably the closest the South got. Uh, no, North is a stronger team. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt about it. The South had – they played much better the last 10 minutes of that first half, but the, the North, just the passing and – uh, they've gotten close a number of times, but I think you're right. We could see you know, two or three more goals. And keep in mind, as you heard uh, Bird on Wooten at halftime say, that these teams came in on Thursday, did some sightseeing and whatnot, but they only had one practice. Yeah. And right now the North seem like they got the most out of their n practice relative to what we've seen from the South. Uh, they're, they're still learning each other's names. Yeah. And uh, you're trying to call for the ball. Hey, you know, who's that guy? So it, that's an all-star game, uh, but it's wide open. It's a funner game. The intensity is not as not like the state tournament. It's not a one nothing shootout kind of thing. You're going to get a lot of scoring, a lot of long balls. You could probably play a little less in, in, intense in this sort of game. But actually a lot of whistles in that first half. Nothing horrible, but a lot of hand fighting up top. South make their way onto the pitch. Considering this is an all-star game and the South team employing a 3-4-3 formation to start the first half. And there may be adjustments here and there from a tactical standpoint, but trying to find two goals in this second half, if you're one of the coaches in that locker room, what are you telling the kids out there? More opportunities in terms of put more shots on the goal. It doesn't matter the distance. If, if you can get a rebound, try to create more corner kicks, uh, try to write, try to find the right combination of players out there. I, I think a good point of not knowing each other, not practicing, you don't you don't know each other's games. If you can get the right combination of two or three guys out there, that could work for you. But uh, just to create some more chances for yourself, corner kicks. Last we checked, it was 97 degrees, but on the field it probably feels more like 110. Yeah, but we've been lucky. A little bit, uh, some clouds out there and a breeze to kind of tempt things over a little bit. But we're 20 minutes away from uh, completing this day. and I call it successful. I mean, a pretty good walk-up crowd and uh, some good soccer. South in blue. We'll move from right to left as you watch. Uh, you can see the South in purple, and then we'll move from left to right. Uh, Love Lady in the first half. The state titleist had a nice goal. All based off his footwork. And then Garcia with a nice kind of chip-in goal. Got a little little pitching wedge over the goalie. Second half is underway. Matthew Rose at left back. Ball goes back to Andrew Hayes, who lays it back for De La Garza. Conscious. Gets it back. Long ball. Right wing. Goes out of play, intending that one for Yoel Oliveras. Berrios played for Atascacita. And this is a Region 1 versus Region, or Region 1 and Region 2 versus Region 3 and Region 4 type setup in terms of the teams and players involved to divide the north and south boundaries. It's more so of a, it's not necessarily the traditional north and south, more of a diagonal line. That's why Waco University, which is even further north than Temple off the I-35, is in the south team because of the regional setup. There's a shot, rebound, and that one, oh, great play by the new keeper, Kalari, KC Kalari. Stopped the first shot, rebound came loose and blocked another. South imposing their will early. 
That was a brutal shot right at the ankle level and easy follow, but nobody could get to it just in time. Gaten off that rebound was denied. Uh, Gaten is, he couldn't believe he couldn't get to it. Anakin Williams looking for the ball so he can execute the corner kick far side of the pitch. That's what South has got to do. Put it on goal. Doesn't matter how far out. If, you, if you've got to look 20 yards, 30 yards out, just put it on goal. Oscar Rodriguez, who was the goalkeeper for the North in the first half, pitched a clean sheet. A little wraparound corner here. Williams bends it in. And through some traffic, it comes to Diego Hernandez. He can't keep it along the end line, so a goal kick will come to the north. Still a nice start for the south in the second half. That's the best opportunity since that missed header back in the first half. Acevedo flicked on, but then the return not in sync. It was Palma trying to get it back to Acevedo. He's expecting Acevedo to not only when he flicked it on to begin a run down the right wing. No one home on that pass from Palma, and it comes out for a throw in. Lovelady with the header off the throw in, out of play, north throw. Three consecutive headers. Lovelady lost it. Played to the left wing for Gerardo Gayton. Kicked out for a throw in. North will have it with a 2-0 lead on goals by Drake Lovelady and Luis Garcia. Real physical game for Clark back there on defense for the North. He's, he's fighting Guyton. He's fighting Palma. Clark is he's hanging in there. He, he, he's facing a lot of long rushes by these guys. Here's Lovelady. Shuttles it forward. On the feet of Charles Ojeda. Ojeda with fancy footwork. Good job, got himself out of a hole. Ojeda with a cross into the box, headed on goal. Oh, just off the outside of the post and wide. Good opportunity from the north. That's really hard to do what I hated just did there. But he got stuck in the corner and really one-on-one. -on -one, you can try to take it yourself. Decided to create some space for him and almost got an assist. Williams. Anakin Williams. Palma. Acevedo. Ball is cleared off the edge of the penalty area. Williams and the North with Lovelady with good run and good space Drake Lovelady tries to play it wide ricochets back to his foot then he loses control De La Garza breaking that up good job it was a five on three by the North and De La Garza saved the day Gaten finds Williams Williams to conscious Back to Mike Solis, who played for the 4A state champions, Waco University. Didn't start today's match, but has seen significant time since coming off the bench and started here in the second half. Palma lifts it to the edge of the penalty area. There's a shot. Acevedo denied by KC Ninclari. Kalari's been tested a couple of times already. I'd say twice, at least twice 
intensely. He almost lost, he lost this for a second, but recovered. Back to Kalari. Hayes played for Friendswood. Now is Yoel Oliveris. Passes inside the box for a shot that's wide. Diego conscious, off target with his shot. I like it though. I really like what the Sats doing. Great pressure, just putting it on goal. And the only reason they haven't got a couple of goals is uh, Nick Laurie's made two good saves. 47th minute of the match, 2 0 north. So Lee's in the center circle. I think the North's taking the second half off. Hayes kicked out by the North. Number 20 in blue, Matthew Rose. Well, let's also remember the South has the wind this half. Acevedo. Shot. He well a, off target. He had a man behind him. I don't think he saw him. He had a wide open teammate behind him. Conscious was... Man who took the shot. The man behind them calling that one, and some space was Gaten. Barrios heads it back, trying to find Luis Garcia, but instead it is Zach and Loton. Williams. Palma finds Williams. Good defense by the North along that back line. Headed to the left wing for Williams. Solis. Gaten returns it to Solis. Spins it for Williams, who shuttles it to the right back, Andrew Hayes. Hayes lost one into the box. Headed out. Chopped down by Williams. In the penalty area, Williams to Palma. Back come the North. Almost. Again, the back line stout for the North. Yeah, they're hanging in there just barely. No call. Tackle by Acevedo. Got by Lovelady. Got by another. Oh. And he couldn't contain his dribble. Turnover. Back comes Yoel Oliveris, and he is fouled by Matthew Rose. All the fouls are above the belt, though. The South looks like a different team this half. I mean, controlling the ball and getting looks. And here's the foul. I'll, I'll, I think that's a good call. A little shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder contact. Yeah. Three-man wall for the north. Williams. Williams to the back corner. Oh, just wide of the target. He had his eye on that back corner. You're exactly right. And didn't clear it by much. A couple feet. Tried to find that upper 90. Kalari the goal kick. Back heel to the center circle, but on the foot of Mike Solis. Taken away from him, but reclaimed by the south with Andrew Hayes. Turned over. Renee Juarez. Drake Lovelady. Scored the North's first goal in the ninth minute. Rose. Acevedo providing some duress, wins it. Centers, Palma with the back heel flip. Goes out of play. They'll say it goes off the deflection of Michael Clark and out for a corner kick that'll be taken by Williams. It almost feels like 11 on 10. Quick yeah, restart, yeah. back to Williams. On the left foot, he bends it in low and it's headed out. Here's Yoel Oliveris shot right at the chest. Of KC Kalari. Feels like the North is playing a man short the way the way the South pressure is here. Over the head of Hayes. 
plays it back to his goalkeeper, Jose Cabrera, who has seen really just his first little part of activity here in the second half. Headed forward by Williams. Now to Palma. Kalari. Good decision to come off his line out of the penalty area and concede a throw in. Yeah, Kalari way outside the box. But the decision turned out to be the right one. This is Hayes. Now to Solis. Headed by Gaten into the penalty area, but claimed by Dylan Farrell. Controlled by the South with Palma. Gets it back on the one, two. Now back to Acevedo. Off to his thigh. Still in the penalty area. And then kicked well off target and wide by Conscious. And South wanted a handball on somebody in the North. I believe it was Lovelady. And it went off a North player, so another corner kick for oh. the South. Uh, it might have been on Clark, but they're going to quick corner this here. Headed out by the North. It'll fall to the feet of Williams. He fires that one directed, deflected right in front of him. That was Barrios. Yoel Oliveris. Can the South find a way to break through? Palma, Williams, to his left, shoots and scores. Carlos Acevedo from Brownsville, Hannah has cut the lead in half in the 54th minute. Three really good passes strung together. You'll see it in just a second. And what can you say? South, this kind of pressure was bound to happen. And Acevedo, he'd been in the middle of it the last 10 minutes, and he finally got a goal. Watch all these passes. Very nice. Gets one. There should be one more. And there it is. And the shot. Kalari was sort of leaning to his right. Didn't make much of a move on the Acevedo shot that went to his left. Kind of froze him. So the goal by Acevedo in the 54th minute has cut the deficit to one goal for the South. This is how the girls game finished, a 2-1 result for the North. Well, the South's not, they're not taking it off either. I mean, they're still attacking. Uh, finally, the North has a counterattack. Garcia. Chips it for Angel Hernandez. Now Garcia shot is wide. Short of the near post. Goal kick for the South who have dictated the, the pace and the flow of the second half. And it's paid off as they've been able to break through with a goal at the 54 minute mark. Substitutions will come on for the South, which will include Hayden Lane, Braden Hawkins, Michael Akinloten, number nine, Ben Diaz, 13, Michael Oliveris, and Miguel Rios, number 21, Wholesale changes for the North in the form of Vince Cook, Eduardo Barron, Tony Bravo, Gerardo Perez. And Jalen Jones, number six. This group of South players that just came off that you named, great, great job. About 15 minutes of solid soccer and got a goal out of it. And I don't believe they went back on defense once in yeah, that stretch. They set the tone. Yeah. But can this new group of South players continue the same pace? Jalen Jones couldn't keep it in play. South awarded with another throw in. We'll see what the new crop of North players are able to do to try to get some of that momentum back. Well, I, would, I would go back to those guys on the bench in about – you know, if it's still two to one, I would go to those the guys that just came off pretty maybe in the next ten minutes. Ball sliced out of play. Dylan Farrell was trying to clear it back the other direction, but instead he gives up a corner kick. I think the North might be just getting tired. I mean they they may have expelled all their energy in the first half. Hayden Lane will take it. He played for Brenham for the Cubs. Cross played in, headed. Back post, 
Then lofted back up into the air in the penalty area. And out. Sent back in. Palma with the chest. And it's again, it's cleared by the North. Miguel Rios. Stepping in front of that was Vince Cook. Play to the right wing. Into the box. All alone, letting it go through was Okiki. Okiki flag is up, he's offside. After it was played back into the penalty area on a cross by Jalen Jones. Yeah, Okiki, that was the idea. I, I think he said, all right, I." I the guy behind me has got a better look. I'm going to try to flip it back or let it go through. Just didn't work out. Michael Olivares. Diaz. Play back to Braden Hawkins. Kicks it all the way back to his keeper. Now what happened here? Oh, we got a, I think you got an injury down here on the sideline. Near side. I didn't see the play. It might be, a, looks like a. Might be Hayden Lane number yeah. 11. They had stopped the clock with 22.50. As they attend to the injured player. And, and I would think if it's anything, and I'm not going to speculate, but a lot of times in the heat like this, cramping is, a, is an issue. Yeah, and the players, will they'll be glad for this rest as well. I mean, this will this will give them a few minutes to... A little reprieve. Yeah. <laughs> and these guys are going on to the next level. I mean, from what we understand, it, all but one player, boys and girls teams, is going to be playing in college. And... This is the next crop of great players. We wait for Juan Treo's whistle to get us back in play and the clock to continue to move. 58th minute of the match and a 2-1 North lead. Throw in for the South. Diaz into Palma. Numbers game catches up with him. This is Jalen Jones. Palma wins it back with a good, solid challenge. Palma's a physical player. He's, he's not a big guy. Diaz, Williams, tries to flick it on to the left wing. Into the penalty area. Back to Palma. Cleared out for a throw in. He, Palm is thin, but he, he plays very physical. He'll, he'll knock his defender over. Throwing in to Jonathan Palma. Tries to get it back on a 1-2. Kicked out of play. Conceding the throw in Seth Elliott from Frisco Wakeland. Well, this crop of South players, same kind of pressure. And they got Williams still out there, kind of directing things in the middle. Deer Park's Grant Mobley will get a running start, execute this throw in, as he will send into the penalty area near post. Headed just wide. Man, I'd, I'd have Mobley thrown it in every time, no matter where you are. And that's usually what they do. That was Miguel Rios on the header. We're coming to you live from Wildcat Stadium in Temple, Texas. From the Legacy Sports Network, this is the 2013 Texas High School All-Star Soccer Games. Here on FoxSportsSouthwest.com. We play in the 59th minute. 2-1 North leading the South. Michael Silvers, David Feliciano, and our crew. Here from Wildcat Stadium in Central Texas and the town of Temple, where this is year one of a three-year deal to play these soccer games at the conclusion of the school year. And this could go to the evening hours from what we understand. That might definitely be a benefit to the players out there. We said at the start of about the second half it was 97 degrees. You can only imagine what it really feels like for them down on the pitch. Helps to be young. Substitution for the South is the goal scorer in the 54th minute. Carlos Acevedo re-enters the lineup for Miguel Rios. 
Drake Lovelady got the goal scoring started in the ninth minute for the North, and in the 21st minute it was Luis Garcia to give the North a two goals to none edge. Before that, aforementioned 54th minute goal by Acevedo. Ball cleared out of the North penalty area. Tony Bravo, right wing. Chopped down from behind. Michael Williams will be called for that foul. Or check that Anakin Williams. North pretty much dictated the pace in the first half. It's not been that way here inside this second 40 minutes. Here I am talking about North being the superior team at the half, and the South has proven me wrong. Free kick in on goal. And it'll be headed Woo. out. And taking a tumble. That was Jalen Jones who took that tumble. Yeah. And it'll be a throw in for the North in the attacking third. Over an hour complete here in this boys all-star match. Ball won by Seth Elliott. Inside the penalty area to be controlled by the South. De La Garza lobs it ahead but out of play. Will the South team, from a boy's standpoint, do what the girls couldn't? Find an equalizer. That one headed out, that's going to be a corner kick. Akin Lowton concedes a north corner kick. Taken on this near side. And north trying to put this one to bed here. Up 3-1 if they can get this. And Long views Eduardo Barron. About three steps from the ball in the corner flag. He doesn't take a big lead in. Bends it to the post, and it's punched away, but it comes down, and again another save by Cabrera. Cleared by the south. Look at Acevedo in the mix trying to counterattack, and he, uh, he, got, he got his defender pretty good. That's coming back the other way. North free kick. Acevedo apologizing and will help that's Dylan Farrell, number 19. Nope, nope. My apologies. That's Matt West from McKinney, number 21. He was a, a later addition to the squad. Kalari to execute the free kick. Barron looks for Bravo. Slide tackle by Akin Lowton and a foul. I think that's the first and only slide tackle we have seen in this boys' match today. But he is he going to card him? No. <laughs> helps no. Bravo come back to his feet. I didn't think so. We're not going to see any cards in this thing. Uh, Akin Lowton got him good too. So it's 97 degrees or not, still physical out here. These are Tasco officials, Texas Association of Soccer Coaches and officials. Barron to perform this free kick. I think the South's got to go with that other squad. They want to try to tie this. Barron with an outswinger, and it's headed defensively off the crossbar. It's going to go out for a corner kick and another opportunity off the set piece for the North. Yeah, it looks like about maybe three guys may have deflected this at some point or another. Ooh, lucky break for the South. Braden Hawkins. Now Jalen Jones, the left-footed. Not a good kick. That one low and cleared easily. Okiki lost it. To the third circle for Acevedo, the lone goal scorer for the South. Now out to the left wing for Mobley. Williams. Acevedo. Tried to forward it. 
to a running Williams, but yeah, I think to he was no avail. He was trying to turn it to either himself or to Williams behind him, but it, it, it didn't work out. But still, a, a really good chance. Diaz. Now this is Michael Oliveris. Acevedo. And another injured and player over here. That's, That's Acevedo. Acevedo, yes. Yep. 65th minute of the match in a 2-1 North lead. Free kick, though, awarded to the south in a dangerous area to play it into the box. Diaz and Williams straddling the ball here. Which one will take it? You got the lefty kicking this one. Looks like it's going to be all Diaz. Diaz with the left foot. Low. Bad. Not the best of efforts nah, there. Poor kick. Barron. Right wing for Okeke. Taken away from him by Hawkins. Controlled by the south as Hawkins gets it back and lays it back for Williams. Back come the north. Haven't seen a lot of action on this side of midfield. He's off sides. Now he's back. Played to the left wing. Good long ball, but a better defensive play by De La Garza. A lob into a good area. Acevedo tries to win it. Good defense by the north. It's played back by Gerardo Perez. Trying to utilize the long ball. Kiki jostling. Kicks it out for a, it's going to be a corner kick though, or throw in, excuse me, throw in. Let's see if he can match Mobley's strength. Pretty good, not as much as Mobley though. Headed out by Mobley. Now it's Jalen Jones in the attacking third. Back to Cook. Jones will get it back. Played forward into an open space. Cross comes in from Barron, back post, headed out. Well, that's a beautiful cross by Barron. I mean, he was backpedaling when he made that. Diego Hernandez heads it out, concedes a north corner. He almost got it in the upper corner, too. I, mean, it, I think the south, if, if they really want to coach it up here, they could put the, the, ne the crop on the bench in the game. They were much more effective, but they're, they're probably going to finish it with this and a goal. Perfectly played. Tony Bravo, Sulphur Springs product, has given the North a 3-1 lead. Off the corner, and a perfect kick, right smack dab in the middle. Just get a hit on it, Bravo. 67th minute of the match, and the North reclaim a two-goal lead. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, Bravo, if you're five feet from the goal, it's on your head. I mean, that's, that's no problem for Bravo. And that's, that probably will put this one out of here. Love Lady in the ninth, Garcia in the 21st, now Bravo in the 67th. Three goals to one lead. Bravo in the center circle. Here's Williams. Lofting one ahead into the right wing, the attacking third. It goes out of bounds for a throw-in. I think I'm going to use that when I check into hotels. Tony Bravo. No one will ever. You're that popular. No you one will ever know. Name, huh? Yeah. It's no uh, Ron Mexico. But <laughs> Drake Lovelady will re-enter. Member of the 5A state championship team from the Capel Cowboys. Acevedo, the only goal scorer for the South today. 
Barron taken away by Williams. Acevedo. Acevedo shot off target. Low and wide. I like Acevedo's game, though. He, he's always in the mix. Since he's been in there, he, every offensive possession has gone through him. Gerardo Perez, 1-2 with Jalen Jones. Perez gets it back, now feeds Jalen Jones. Barron, numbers game caught up to him. Gets a little forearm shiver from Hawkins. Now it is Williams, kicks it forward into no man's land and be controlled now by Frisco Wakeland. Seth Elliott lays it off to Cook who plays it to his right for West. Now Love Lady, out of play. Love Lady's very smooth player. Uh, good dribbling skills. Kind of, kind of takes his time, surveys the field. He's tall. Just a, a good forward type of guy. Miguel Rios. Oh, check that. I apologize. Gerardo Gaten looks to come on to the pitch. No, midfielder, actually. Grant Mobley checks off. 3-1 North inside the final 10 minutes of this All-Star game. And a three-day excursion for these players will come to an end. And this will be it for high school soccer 2013. Williams, long ball into the box. Shielded off by Jones and kicked out of play. South will have a throw in. So you have some, you have the All-Star game in football, Texas High School Coaches Association, and you have some other All-Star games that are ancillary, like the Bayou Bowl, the Oil Bowl. You got the basketball All-Star games along the same weekend as coaches school baseball all-star games now you have some soccer and you heard bird on Wooten say that scheduling can be a little bit of a conflict with some of the invitations because of select soccer we also cover the sport of hockey at a club level for these high schools and they also have traveling teams select teams that create a little havoc in terms of scheduling and whether or not certain players will be able to play on the ice on a given night. But when it comes to playing for their high school, high school comes first in high school games. Perhaps maybe not an all-star game, but certainly their school games, their district games, and what leads to a state championship are of the utmost importance to most of the players. At football, there's no traveling team outside of your own high school. That's team. right. So uh, the Basketball. schedule's a little more agreeable. I think it's a lot. It's every other. Sp it's every sport other than football. Yeah. Because basketball, you have those AAU teams that yep. high schoolers will play on. Well, this is a good centralized location. I mean, we're two or three hours from everybody, essentially. Um, big, very nice stadium. And that's always a debate amongst those who cover high schools, especially with the uh, the you know the football championship games. Mm -hmm. You know, they're last three seasons they've been at Cowboys Stadium which isn't really centrally located but it's domed it's, it's indoors it's flashy yes you know you, everybody has that argument well why don't you rotate it you know we've got yeah. the Alamo Dome which is more centrally located than any of the other indoor stadiums sometimes flash takes precedent I mean it's it's, and, glo it's and glorious stadium availability play. obviously yeah. you know it's a glorious thing to play at that place Olivares trying with that lead pass out of the reach of Gaten. 74th minute of the match. Out of a possible 80. North with a two goals lead. Barron, that one intercepted, but a whistle. Back in play. Palma.
Needs some help. And a tackle by Gerardo Perez. Got it back on a 1-2 from Barron. Perez looking for Lovelady. That one will get through for Bravo. Scored the match's third goal for the North. Diego Hernandez is fouled to a free kick from deep in the north south end. Volleyed out of play by West. Be kind of interesting to see one of the soccer finals be held indoors at some point. Now, temperatures aren't as high in April in Central Texas because they host the championships in Georgetown. Yeah. Still. But still, it can be hot. It's kind of cool to see a, a, a Texas soccer final high school be held at Reliant or something. Akin Lowton collides with Palma. Ball will go out of play, and the North will throw it in. All but over here as we come down to about five minutes remaining here in Temple. Two goal advantage for the North All-Stars. Might be too much for the South, who dictated the pace in the second half early, got a goal, then conceded a third goal. Tony Bravo off the corner kick with the header into the back of the net. Acevedo could not get the return from Angel De La Garza. De La Garza commits a foul, and the North will have a, f a free kick. Yeah, South probably would have had a better chance, but you know, this being an All-Star game, the the guys out there who are give, get, getting the job done are not going to see the time. It's, it's just the way it is. Everybody's trying to get a little bit more time. Uh, the guys on the bench were the ones who really scored the goal for the South, so it's, uh, but it's a different setup here. It's more about everybody performing. Bravo couldn't handle it. Here's Akin Lowton, the edge of the 18. Touches it for Rodriguez. South throwing. Yoel Oliveras. Comes down to Acevedo, his shot to the far post is gobbled up there he by is. Kalari. In the mix again, Acevedo. Going to be tough to pick an MVP for this game. Scoring has been kind of spread out a little bit. Love Lady, Garcia, Bravo. Elliot to Love Lady. In the midfield along the right wing. Long ball, foot race. It's Rodriguez. Oliveras to Palma. Looking for De La Garza out of play. South awarded a throw in. 78th minute of the match. Try to get one here, make it interesting. A three to two. Got to give credit to Nak Lari. Made a couple of really key saves about maybe 15 minutes into this half. De La Garza's effort is wide. He likes to stray from the net quite a bit. I mean, he, he's not afraid to go well outside the goal box. So it looks like it'll be a sweep for the North teams. This first annual Texas High School All-Star Soccer Games presented by Town Square Media here in Temple. They're going to burn a little time here, keep it, keep it simple. Cook to West. And the South not really attacking. Over the head of Ekin Lowton. Here's Barron. Save it is head of good decision by Hawkins. Save the day. To Palma. And it'll be shielded to Kalari by Elliott.
De La Garza. Andrew Hayes. Back to De La Garza for Acevedo now. To the legs of the defender. Palma and Kalari off his line. Gobbles that one up. Palma couldn't get to it in time. They really like that play. Final minute of the match. And surely a north sweep now. It's almost like a backdoor play. A couple of guys back and forth and somebody breaks in behind them. Solis. Here's a chance. And it is flicked into the back of the net by Gerardo Gayton. That time, Kalari came off his line, like you said, likes to roam free out there, and he paid the price. That looked like Luis Garcia's goal. Kind of flicked it over the goalie's head. Very similar. Well, three to two, and well, crazier things have happened. South can get it one more possession and tie it up, that'd be great. Well, let's take a, take a look at the goal, and very similar to Garcia's, almost exact. Perhaps one last surge for the South. Juan Trejo helps him out a little bit. Gets possession back for the South. Here's a long blast in. It was blocked by a sliding West. And that should all about but do it. Long ball deep into the South and kicked out by Akin Loten, which is not going to help the South cause. And that's it. The North sweep. The 2013 Texas High School All-Star Soccer Games here from Wildcat Stadium in Temple. The girls win it 2-1, and the North win it for the boys, three goals to two. Uh, you were right. We had some more scoring in that half. And uh, obviously the temperatures made things a little more difficult as, as play wore on, but uh, we saw some great individual skill. And uh, these guys showed why they're all-stars. For the North, Lovelady in the ninth, Garcia in the 21st, Bravo. The game-winning goal at the 67th minute mark. For the South in the 54th, it was Acevedo, then Gayton in the 80th. Full-time, North 3, South 2. For David Feliciano and our entire crew, I'm Michael Silver saying so long. From Wildcat Stadium in Temple, you've been watching a presentation of Fox Sports Southwest.com, engineered by the Legacy Sports Network. Till next year. So long, everybody.